All right, round three, Mythic Society weekly event. We're playing, it's not me, not me is playing uh, Grixis Hole Breacher. So three Hole Breachers, some Sprite Dragons, a bunch of Wheels, uh, Tinker Citadel, Pyroblast, Opals, somewhere between uh, an Underworld Breach deck and a uh, PO deck, kind of. This hand looks really good. I got turn one Magmatic Chandler, Force of Will, and a turn two Ascendancy. I like this hand a lot. Yep, you get to see everything I'm working with. So I'm just saying, we definitely didn't need three of those. Maybe we don't need four. I don't know. Kind of hard to say. Our deck has a pretty good way of like dealing with extra bad cards, though, like pitching ascendancies. Maybe we just do play some Pyroblast because we do play four channelers to pitch them if they're bad. I don't know. It's possible. I want to be like pretty lean because I want my combo aspects to be strong, but I think uh, I'm not even going to, well, the problem with activating Chandler is I don't want to be, I don't want to have to play the card that they put, put off of it because you basically lose value if you don't. I would rather just tap out for Ascendancy this turn. If it gets pyroblasted or forced, I'm just going to let it happen and then play another one on the next turn, I would think. We could play Black Tutors, sure, but I, I th actually think mana bases are super important right now in Vintage. I think that there's a lot of people using Wastelands to attack your mana base, and I don't want to be super thin on colors. Uh, I have a really big problem right now where I, I, I'm watching people get... You just lose the Wasteland, right? I don't like that very much. Uh, my deck is quite bad against Hole Breacher, which is worth noting. Um, an opponent is on a Hole Breacher deck, so. They know I have Force, so unless they have their own Force, which they do. It's pretty bad for us here. I No, I, I think See the Truth is a great idea. I'm, I'm in for See the Truth. We just haven't had time. Uh, unfortunately, we can no longer loot because there is a whole breacher in play. The nice thing is Magmatic Chandler is not a draw spell, uh, not a draw card, so we can play around it slightly. I'm just going to discard the second Ascendancy, uh, and then I'm not going to use this right now because it's kind of bad. I don't have a lot of spells I can play, but it's not like the other half of this Ascendancy is gone, so not too bad, not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, this Force of Will is a little late, so I'm just going to discard this Force of Will. Let's see what we find. Oh, we get a Preordain. Oh, Preordain does let us use Channeler again, but does give opponent a thing. Uh, I think giving opponent a thing is fine, because I want to use Channeler again. I'm not going to loot, obviously. That would be bad. But I think the untap is worth it. Uh, obviously, bottom both of these is quite good for us. I think I'm going to do another activation. And here is a pearl. Which is fine. Cast a pearl. Another activation. And now I have a 3-5. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just attack for three. Yeah, I'm down for See the Truth. We're going to rebuild the deck after we, you know, lose all four rounds. But, it you know, it's a, it's an experiment, so it happens. Oh, they just have the Twister in their hand. It's pretty good. Uh, probably not winnable from here. Oh, no, that's a, that is a decent reason to play some Pyroblasts. Let's have a Citadel hardcast. All right, that's enough for me. Yeah, we could put some Pyroblasts in our deck. But it is the O2 bracket, which is where you do find Hole Breacher decks, so it kind of makes sense. I don't know if 
think I really like Luster Storm that much here. What kind of sideboard hate do they have? An additional pirate black. They have Scab Clan Berserkers in their sideboard. It's pretty good. I don't even think we have any cards for this matchup either. I didn't know how bad the blue matchups would be, so I just put a bunch of graveyard and artifact hate. So I think it looks like we'll probably have to switch up our main deck a little bit. Uh, maybe we... I don't know. I just don't know how we're going to cut cards from our deck. It seems like a challenge. I mean, maybe we cut... I, I kind of think that cutting Underworld Breach is bad because I like having the opportunity to have some way to use my graveyard effectively. Sounds good. I do want to play some Sea Beyond, see the truth, see the whatever. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm definitely down for that. I mean, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fix up the deck and then we'll probably stream the prelim as well. So no worries. Pretty good one. It's just, uh, let's not run it into the open Flusterstorm Pyroblast. Let's get the Magmatic Channeler down first. What is their Graveyard Hate? Are they even running Graveyard Hate? They're just playing no Graveyard Hate? Kind of an interesting choice. Good for us. Uh-oh, is this a Scab Clan Berserker? Oh, no, it's a top. All right, that's fine. Oh, uh, Opal's good. I thought I, so far the channeler has been very impressive. I don't know if you guys agree. But the channeler has looked quite good tonight. I think the channeler has been the best card so far that we've been using. Even outside of comboing. I think it's actually worse when comboing, but like just as a normal card is quite good. Uh, what do we want to do here, chat? What do we want to do here? I think they have a Pyroblast. Um, I think I'm just going to activate this Pitching Stitcher. Uh, I was looking for a land, really? Because now I think we're just going to get Hull Breached. Which is a problem. But I guess what we can do is we can brainstorm, bait out a whole breacher, then cast Ancestral. Oh, they don't have a whole breacher. Interesting. Interesting, chat. Uh, I'm going to just put back Ascendancy. They don't have a whole breacher here. I'm pretty sure I'm just playing another channeler this turn. And then next turn, we can do all kinds of craziness. I'm just trying to figure out... I guess I just put back both ascend. No, I put back a cruise and an ascendancy. I can pitch the ascendancy to force. I, I could just not play a channeler, hold open lightning bolt ancestral. I could just cast ancestral. I guess casting ancestral when I know the two cards isn't really very good. So I don't really want to do that. I have force and lightning bolt. So it's not like I'm super weak to hull breacher anymore. Maybe I don't really need a second channeler here. No, it doesn't make sense. Let's just play a second channeler here. All right, next turn's very good for us if we can make it there. Did I order them the right way? I guess it doesn't really matter how I order them, seeing as I have multiple channelers. I definitely think I ordered them wrong, though. I kind of wanted to have the Ascendancy above the Cruise so that I could re... I mean, the first thing I'm casting is Ancestral, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, the only thing we... I mean, we care about Tinker. And that's kind of the, the end all, right? Like, the big thing we care about. If they have Tinker with Pyroblast back up, we obviously get wrecked. Yeah, so... All right, so someone in chat keep track of what we're doing post... When we start fixing the deck up. I don't think Deep Analysis is the play. I think Sea Beyond is a much cooler choice. Uh, maybe it's bad. I don't know. But it sounds it sounds interesting. Enough to try. And then we need to find a way to put like. I don't know. Um, maybe just Pyroblast in the board. Or like 
a pyroblast main and two pyroblasts in the board or something i'm not 100 percent sure i don't want to play more than two pyroblast main theoretically they're just gonna fetch why do we spend that long that long time spinning if we were just gonna fetch um I don't, it theoretically is pretty good for us, actually. I think the idea is, is solid. I'm just looking for ways to get extra cards, and that seems like a pretty decent way to do it. So, I mean, I like it a lot more than something like Ideas Unbound, so I'm kind of in on it. Let's do it. All right, not me. What did you get for us here? What is your plan? Demonic Tutor resolves. I mean, I'm looking pretty solid in this game. This card is just very good. I'm just... Oh, they have Tinker with... All right, well, they have Tinker with Pyroblast back up. Very unfortunate. Just not much we can do about this. Like, I don't have any Flusterstorms or Pyroblasts, so I just get wrecked. Man, Tinker is really broken, huh? Yeah. So, we just die. No bueno. Oh, I'm going to let them tinker. Just make sure they have the Citadel in their hand deck. We just lost to like, tinker with Counterspell backup every time tonight, haven't we? Have we played against three tinker decks? Yeah, we've played against three tinker decks. Uh, frustrating. We just died on turn three because our deck is like a turn slower than a Tinker deck. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, having the ability to be pitched and be useful from the graveyard is good. But I think uh, more importantly right now, having the ability to be hit off of Channeler and give us multiple cards is probably better. I don't know. Let's just look. 